How's it going, good people? Today we're talking about ebook covers and how you can create one really, really super quick, super easy, looking slick and professional with limited know how. You know, because I think a lot of people, when they start thinking about graphics and creating them, they get a bit overwhelmed. They think, I don't have the, the knowledge, the skill set. I don't know how to use these uh, difficult programs. Uh, what can I do? The best I can do is something that looks really, really basic. So I'm going to show you two websites that I use to create ebook covers that look better than the book covers that we had in the bookshops back in the day. Okay, so the first website that I'm going to use is Canva, C A M V A dot com, and I'm going to mesh that with another website called Pixels. Okay, so we'll go to that in a minute, but go into Canva, we'll, we'll look at that first. Now, Canva is an image creation website that has so many templates, drag and drop functionality, and it's all 100% free you know unless you want to get a load of images and graphics in their premium package but we can get a, a variety of these sorts of images for free anyway using the second website okay so when you log in uh, to canva um, you can click and create design or you can look at all of these different templates that they've got so they've got the recommended ones then they've got all these ones are social media documents, you know, loads of different things that you might want to create, create for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on ebook, and what it's going to do is going to open up a blank canvas uh, exactly how we want it. So this is effectively what our book is like at the moment. It's just a plain blank page. But if you look across to the left hand side, we've got all of these templates uh, that we can go through, and if we click on one, it will instantly create our cover and then we just have to edit it okay so you'll see that some of them will say free some of them won't uh, if they don't have a, a, a thing in a corner that says free it isn't going to be free some of them will have a dollar sign as well so that's paid that's for the premium package but there are so many of these that are you know free so we can flick through these ones uh, if we just scroll down that one looks pretty cool, you know, for a book. Um, as I say, there are hundreds and hundreds. So don't just look through this and think, oh God, the first few are paid because obviously they want to put the paid ones at the top. So you've got these ones, these ones, this is cool. I've used this before. Uh, again, this is cool. And don't worry, the image, all the images are you can replace, which is really, really cool. So let me just click on this one, for example. You can see it's, it's instantly sh placed it there. And look how good that is. Now, um, this says the ocean, the end of the world, whatever. You know, just say that is my title. But I could change um, I could change this just by clicking on it. And I'm just going to put day, you know. And then I'm going to change the name. And I'm going to put Mike Smith, for example, right? So that's that. I've easily been able to change that. If I wanted to change any of the, the sizing of the text, I can just click here, you know, and I can change it. If I wanted to change the color, uh, make it bold, for example, like I just did there, all these sorts of cool stuff, right? But just say we want to change that image. This is where we go to this website called pixels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S dot C-O-M. And this is a website that has thousands and thousands of royalty free images. You've got all different types of photographers that join this website, they upload their photographs, you know, they want to share their photographs for free. We can use them how we see fit, which is really, really cool. And you know, as I say, they're all different types of photographers all around the world. You know, they're just trying to take the best photographs possible. The database is ridiculous, okay? So what we can do is we can search for images here. So I'm just going to search for the ocean, you know, and I've got, it just comes up with all of this different cool stuff, you know, different types of photographs in different places in the world, taken by different people, you know, different things, you know, and you can just find the image that, you know, is right for your cover, you know, so you can just look through all of these different images. Let's find something. 
um, that we think is pretty cool for a cover. What should we go with? Um, let's go with that one up there that I saw before. We'll just go with this. So here we can say, we can see the pixel license there, free for personal and commercial use, uh, no attribution required. So we can use it exactly how we see fit. We can we can decide to don donate, we can add it to our own thingy here. We can choose what size that we want to download it in, you know, and we can just click download. That will download here. And, you know, then it's all about, you know, signing up if we want to get a premium account. But we can see that it's downloaded. So let's go back to our ebook. So this is our ebook here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to uploads here on the left hand side. We're going to click on this green button, upload your own images and we're gonna choose the image that we decided. Now this will start to upload it, and once it's done, you'll see this, uh, you know, this water icon. Once that's done, it's done, right? So now what we can do is we can click on the image here, um, and we can click on the bin icon here, and we can click delete image. Okay, and we can see that what's happened now is that it's thrown in this like base image that is used on camera for a lot. And what we can do is we can go to our image here, we can hold it, we can drag it, and we can drop it into the the uh, the box there, and we can move it around, uh, you know, exactly how we want it to be. So we might want it like that. We might want to, you know, we can resize this. We can move it about. Um, you know, and you can see that as I move it about, it's staying within the the, the box. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do that. And then you know, I look at that and think, no, nah, it looks pretty good. But maybe we want to change the text because you know, we've now got a different type of background. Let's just see what white would look like. That actually looks a bit better. So I can go around and I can change uh, the other elements of my cover. So we'll change that. Uh, we've got these little bits and pieces as well. We'll change the colors there. Yeah, and if we check that box, it changes all of them there, the two that they had. We'll do the same with this one. change that and we can change that one as well and look at that you know it's very very easy to use you know so I've got that image now as my cover it looks really really cool now I could have used any of the other templates that we uh, that were provided hundreds and hundreds change it change out the images now I could also you know one thing I didn't mention I could have just and I said talked about the, the, the text size but I could have changed the font if I wanted to and they have loads of fonts look at all these amount of fonts that you can grab and use really 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 funky man so that is really cool. Now, once you're happy with your cover, it is simple as just clicking this download button at the top. We click on it, we choose what you want, PDF, PNG, or JPEG. For a cover, we're probably gonna want JPEG because then we can add it to the ebook because the ebook as a whole is gonna be a PDF, but we need to insert that uh, JPEG into it. So once we're happy, we just click download. It's gonna wait a few seconds uh, just to formulate that. Once that hits the end of this loading bar, as usual, we're gonna see it drop down at the bottom. Bang, there we go, it's 2.1 uh, megabytes. And now we can click on that and take a look at it. And there you go, look how cool that looks. That looks like a real book cover. It really looked cover. Now I didn't use any real technical know-how, just used two sites to get my images and the templates. And I'm there, happy as Larry. So. That's how to create your, your ebook covers. It's simple as that. And we'll see you in the next video.